Hello and welcome back to the channel. I was very surprised a couple of days ago to get an email saying that I had a package coming from Google. This has only happened one time before. Somehow I got onto a list and now I'm in the Team Pixel. And so today we're gonna to be taking a look at my latest hashtag gift from Google from Team Pixel. I did eventually get a follow-up email from the people at Google's PR team saying that this is the Pixel 3a. So I'm very excited to check this guy out. I was on the fence as to whether or not to actually buy one of those. So it's very nice that they just went ahead and shipped one out. If you're not familiar with it, the Pixel 3a is essentially what the Pixel 3 was, but with slightly lower specs, but the exact same camera. So it takes the whole idea of the budget phone and instead of going decent specs and crappy camera, it goes kind of mediocre specs and awesome camera because the Pixel had a great camera, the Pixel 3. So let's just see what came in this big hashtag gift from Google box from hashtag Team Pixel. It says Team Pixel, Google Pixel 3a is finally here and we'd like you to be among the first to have one. Tag us with at Google Pixel, hashtag Team Pixel, and hashtag Pixel 3a. There's even a card included here for one month of free Google Fi service. I've never actually done Google Fi, so I might take advantage of that. Although that will mean keeping a third phone on me at all times and that may be a little bit much. What else do we have in here? Aha, uh -huh, of course, the Pixel 3a XL. I'll say I kind of expected it to be the 3a. I've been trying to move back in the direction of using smaller devices, but still can't complain about that at all. Pixel 3a XL case, a pop socket, Team Pixel. May actually be able to use this on the Pixel 3a because it does not have built-in wireless charging. That's another one of the areas where they saved on the costs. And then finally, a bag. Yes. Hashtag Team Pixel. It's like a little grocery bag with the Google logo on it. So a very nice little addition. And while we're here, why don't we go ahead and open up the Pixel 3a XL, take a look at it, see which one they sent me. This says it is the 64 gigabyte clearly white model, Pixel 3a XL. So what comes in the box? If I had to guess, it's the same thing that comes in every other phone box. Of course, you get the phone itself. This phone does come in three different colors. This is the clearly white. There's also a clearly black and a purplish. You get your SIM ejector tool and some documentation, as well as some nifty little stickers there. Full-size traditional USB to USB-C plug, presumably for smart data switching, and a USB-C to USB-C cable with a power brick, five volts at three amps or nine volts at two amps. So it should do some decently quick charging. And then back to the phone itself. Got all this wrapper on it. Now just comparing it in the hand to the Pixel, the back is all plastic. It's polycarbonate, so it's very lightweight, and it doesn't feel like the older Pixel because the Pixel 3 had the glass back. It has a little bit of a, I think it is still plastic at the top, yeah, but the Pixel 3 was all glass on the back. You do, of course, have your fingerprint sensor right here in the middle of the back, rear-facing camera with LED flash, bright orange power button on the side with a volume rocker on the same side, Nothing on the other side except for the SIM tray. Three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the top. USB-C on the bottom with a bottom firing speaker. And from what I've heard, this is also a front facing speaker. So you're gonna have one pointing straight at you and then one pointing out the bottom, which I guess you could kind of cup your hand around. And this is a very decently large device. Here's the iPhone XS Max side by side for comparison, as well as the Galaxy S10 over on the other side. You can see the S10 is definitely a little bit smaller. Now we can go ahead and get this started up. I'm gonna hold the power button. And we'll give that a minute. And while we wait, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this Pixel 3a XL case designed by Google, made in China. And it looks like it just peels out. And I've actually seen this case before for the Pixel 2. So it has a soft liner on the inside and on the outside, it's, it's a fabric, very nice. We'll go ahead and just put it on the back here. It gives it a really neat feel in the hand. Although it's not a terribly grippy feel, it is kind of, well, it's like the fabric of a chair or a couch or something. That was an interesting startup screen that you didn't get to see. Sorry about that. One teeny tiny little downside. I don't think I can actually put this pop socket on the back with the case on here, so it's gonna be one or the other. It is still nice to have this as an option and maybe I can stick it on the back of a tablet or something. It says connect to mobile network, insert a SIM now if you have one. We're just gonna do the SIM free setup for right now. It also says for Google Fi and other carriers. SIM free setup, you'll get calls, text, and everything using an eSIM. It's gonna to connect to Wi-Fi. I'm not sure why it's not popping up any networks here, but if I click see all Wi-Fi networks, my network does show up and I was able to immediately connect to it. And now it's checking for updates. Now it's asking if I want to copy apps and data. I'm going to say no for right now. And now it wants me to sign in. Just skip on through all the rest of this. Checking info. Confirm your carrier. Google Fi, Sprint, or use a SIM. I am actually going to say skip for right now and I'll come back to that. Unlock with pixel imprint. You can use a fingerprint to set it up. I'll set up a pin and it says touch the sensor on the back of the phone using your index finger. So touch it and lift it and put it back just in all different ways. Fingerprint added. That was actually quick. I'll try to add another one. Make the pixel uniquely yours. Keep going to set up your assistant, change your wallpaper and more. 
Sure, we'll continue. How to talk to it. Voice match. I've already set up the Google Assistant a few times, so it shouldn't need my voice. Looks like you've already set it up. And you're all set. Squeeze for assistant. I actually have not tried that on the Pixel 3 now that I think about it. Squeeze and release. Ah, that works. Adjusting for sensitivity. Nice. Always on display. I can add more email accounts, identify music, change the font size, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, now we're all set. Adding the finishing touches. I thought it was going to let me change my wallpaper, but oh well. It says it is completing the setup here. It's downloading support libraries. One of the other cool things that they announced at the Google event, Google I.O. that happened the other day, is that some of the updates are actually going to start coming from the Play Store for Android. It's not going to be full OS updates, if I remember correctly, but it should at the very least be security updates and core service updates without actually being the full OS, which will hopefully make devices last a little while longer. So devices like the Samsung ones that they, they get the initial software that comes with it and never get updated later. I know they're getting better about it, but still, hopefully they will at least continue to get updates that make the device stay useful. But here it is. It says, welcome to your new Pixel Tap for tips. Swipe up, and I, I'm not familiar with this at all, so I'm used to my Samsung where I have to just swipe up and get to the tray, but it looks like swiping up takes you straight to multitasking. Swiping all the way up gets you to all of the apps that are installed. As you can see, it's a relatively short list, just all Google apps. You do have Android Auto pre-installed on this. I didn't tell it to copy any apps or install any new apps, so I can only assume that that one came as a part of it. Google Play, Movies, Music, Photos. I can see it is installing new apps now though, so maybe that one did come separately. Yeah, it says it's installing eight new applications, and there's a bunch of app updates available too. Let's go into the camera. Not allow it to use the location. It does keep saying swipe up to switch apps. Motion is enabled. We've got camera and video. And of course, one of the neat features that came with the Pixel 3, Night Sight, is on here by default. Then there's the front-facing camera. It does say natural face retouching is on. So I'm guessing that's going to mean that it's a lot softer and beauty filtered. Let's see how it looks. We can even try a front-facing portrait. Now, one of the neat things about this newer version is it doesn't have the big old notch. It has a large bezel at the top and a really big bezel at the bottom, but it doesn't have the notch digging into the screen, so I'm very much okay with that. And while we're here, we might as well do a quick video test, front and rear facing. Well, that's interesting. Looking at the video, I'm on the, the rear facing video now. It gives me an option in the upper left to do 30 or 60 frames per second. I'll go ahead and leave it at 30 because that's what the rest of this video is in. Let's see what it looks like. So here is a quick video sample from the rear-facing camera of the Google Pixel 3a XL. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what it looks like compared to my other camera. So I'm going to switch back to that now. Looking at the details on here, I can see that it is 1080p video. Here's another very quick sample using the rear-facing camera. I'm guessing this is going to be 1080p 60, but since we're in a 4K 30 frames per second timeline, it's going to be scaled down to, to 30 frames a second and sort of up -res. So we'll have to see how that looks as well. And here's a sample of the front-facing video from the Pixel 3a XL. Uh, looking at it on the screen, it looks great right now. I'm kind of curious how the stabilization is going to be, so maybe we'll take it outside and do a quick walk around. But let me know what you think of it. Yep, it shows 1080p on the front-facing camera and 1080p on the rear-facing. So there's no option, as far as I can see, out of the box for going to 4K. Again, it's sort of a budget-level device. This starts at $400, so expecting it to do 4K video is a little bit over the top but it still would be a nice feature. We'll just have to see how the video looks. And I kind of skimmed over it there, but when I swipe up from the bottom now, there's the multitasking. So I can open up a few things here. I've got my clock, and we'll open up photos, and I can just keep swiping up, and you can see all the apps here. There's also a clear all button, so I can just clear all the apps that I've already opened. I do like that multitasking interface, and I think you can switch apps by just going back and forth on this bar at the bottom. And if you want the Google Assistant, you can either squeeze the device, or hold the button at the bottom. But I think that's actually where this video will wrap up for today. Definitely looking forward to spending more time with this device moving forward. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Have you thought about the Pixel 3a or 3a XL? Is it something you'd be interested in picking up? For 400 bucks or 480 bucks for the one that's actually the XL, it seems like a reasonable investment. I haven't really taxed it to see how it does with, with more intensive apps, but it does have the Snapdragon 670 and I believe four gigs of RAM. So it's not a slacker by any means, but it's also not the top end phone. Let me know what you think of it down below. Again, thanks so much to Google for sending this out for me to take a look at. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you happen to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified when new videos come out. And if you do actually want to get notified, you have to ring the notification bell now because they may or may not even put it in your subscription box anymore. Who knows? But I do appreciate you as always. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.